Caravan Salon 2018. This is the Heimer stand and as always Heimer has two vehicles up front which it is showcasing. One of them is this one. It is, as you can see, BMC T680. Sprinter basis, 110,000 euros. Let's have a look at some of the more, some more of the details of it over here. So it's called 680, but it's not actually 680 centimeters long. It's 739, width 229, height 296, internal height 198. In this condition, it's just under three tons. It's going to give you over 500 kilos of payload. But you can put it on a four and a half ton basis should you so desire, and which will give you one and a half tons of payload. I'd keep it on three and a half myself, but you might want to carry something which is particularly heavy. There you've got the, the price. The prices I quote, by the way, are nearly always with VAT. If it's not with VAT, I will say so. Um, there is a slight problem in this because, of course, VAT rates vary from country to country. Right, at the back here, an enormous garage. There you go. 450 kilos of weight it can take. 123 centimeters in height. Look how big it is. And that's not the end. Oh, I've got to point one thing out here. People are cleaning up, and uh, that's why there's the noise in the background. I've had this in many films over the years, but uh, there's not much I can do about it. Uh, it's either coming when there's no light. If I can get in, because I've had all sorts of problems in the past, or you put up with the uh, the hoovering. But I, I, I've had enough of the arguments I have with the staff here. Just anyway, that apart. <laughs> so you can see the big uh, big door there to the garage from both sides. Very well designed and thought out. Let's have a look inside. As you'd expect, double floor, storage in that double floor. There you are, so you get down to your batteries and... Now, the SLC chassis, which is being used by Heimer, is uh, part of what they're doing is they're trying to reduce the um, well, it's not reduce the weight. It does reduce the weight, but also to um, to put as much as they can within the lower part of the, uh, the the chassis, so you get all of the electrics, the water tanks, and everything of this nature. I've written things about the the chassis. I've done I've done films on it as well. So please have a look at that now I'm in here I've got a reasonable amount of headroom above me but there's something up here you got bed spare bed ele electric and it's very discreet now I'm I'm not looking on spare beds as you may know but that one works very well three burners in a row and you've got a bit of prep space there as well easy access to your knobs for the uh, uh, gas there it's a bit of a break with tradition and drawers and storage. Shower. The ladder's there when the bed is extended to be a double bed so you can use the ladder to get in and out of. I think the uh, shower's as good a place as any to keep the, the ladder in. <coughs> a 
steps up the bed with storage storage either side of course as you'd expect and down here we also have a bit more uh, storage on the floor Now I'd be curious to know what people do with these beds, although this is now I think just about the commonest layout within new vans, I personally only know a couple of people who've got this type of layout, I'm exaggerating maybe, but there's, not, there's certainly in single figures anyway, and I'm curious to know what people do, and would you want this, would you want to, or would you prefer a width-wise bed, and if you have something like this, do you use it in this condition as to say two singles or do you put the infiller in to make an enormous double bed? You know, there's the uh, thing you put the inside to, to fill it with. So that's the, that's the base which is plastic and there's the cushion. I think during the day you might actually once you made your beds, do something like this, put it up to, to one side and leave it there. So I'm a bit curious now. If you do the infillers, it makes access to here a little bit more difficult. It's got some uh, of the furniture in there. I've got to store it somewhere, of course, during the trade fair. And that as well. Also, you have to use the, bed, the ladder, sorry, when getting in and out of the bed. So, uh, on the other hand, uh, if it's like this, easy to get in and out, but it's only a single bed. Anyway, uh, I actually make it a double bed if I'm by myself or not. Right, so if I sit here on the bed, you can see the door's closed. <clears throat> there isn't another door here, so if somebody's sleeping in there, then... Um, that this this part of the bedroom isn't private, so to speak. No, I can't see the point in putting too many doors in the vans myself, so I, I agree with Heimer on that one. If I could have any van here, I think I'd have this one. This is my favourite van. I really like this. There's another van which is it, it really gets me. It's the, it's the, the Citroen, of course. It's, it's just a, it's just a kit, but it looks like an old Citroen from 1948. And it's uh, when you get up to it and touch it, then you feel it. You feel it's not, but it, it looks great. Uh, you can see that in another film, of course. But I, of the of the two, I mean the Citroen. I think for looks, I'd go for. But for the for living in for um, as a motorhome. This is the sort of thing I would want. Size is about right, ideal, size, great. Now, I'll do an article on it. So you see on motorhomefulltime.com and uh, there'll, be, um, there'll be more information there. At the press conference, they didn't tell us a great deal about it. Now, whilst I'm here, I'll show you a few more Heimer vans. I actually walked around the hall and I filmed them, so you can actually see that. We'll just have a quick look at this other one here, which is MC, stands for Modern Comfort, I580. Oh, and look, they put a fire inside 
I had that idea to do that in my van <laughs> when we were doing the rebuild. I saw one in uh, Castorama or something. I thought, hey, let's have one of them in. That looks pretty good. <laughs> anyway, see this in a, another film. Let's give the other new Heimer van. And uh, we've got a lot more. I will almost certainly go to the um, uh, showroom in Bad Valse next uh, January and hopefully I can film some more vans whilst I am there. I was thinking of going to Bad Valse on this trip but my plans have just changed. Anyway, so there you have this wonderful Heimer Modern Comfort T680. The T incidentally stands for semi <laughs> in German, uh, half, uh, semi-integrated as you can see it's semi-integrated and whereas this one over here, Teal Integriert, uh, is fully integrated. Uh, 